What's up, y'all? Schildhouse here. Welcome back to the NASCAR Thunder 04 Career. We've got All-Star Weekend on tap. It's the All-Star Open, the All-Star Race, assuming we make it, and then the Coke 600, the longest race of the year. Great opportunity to make some money, I'll tell you that. We had a rough outing in the last episode at Richmond. Brutal. Not as bad as it usually is at a short track, but still not very good. We uh, we look to run better here at Lowe's. We've been pretty decent on mile and a half. And I think we're going to have a good package to take out there. We won the All-Star Open in Season 2. So, honestly, there's no reason we can't go out there and do it again this year. In theory, we should have a better car, right? Right? Well, we'll look at the point standings and all that before we actually do the Coke 600 points paying race for the All-Star doesn't matter we'll just dive into it you know let's build a car what do we got got three pretty decent chassis here five races left on this new premium build that's going to be the best thing we've ever had but uh for the all-star race let's take the best we can 66 72 that's a nice chassis engine shop <laughs> we've got three fresh engines that's it's actually kind of impressive um damn Dale's killing it in the engine shop I guess but 66 72 engine that's good piece and the body shop I feel like this is the department that's starting to slack, but we only got two races left on our shop upgrade for the body shop, and then I think we'll fire Brian and hire a better guy that can build nice stuff. Uh, for now, we'll take uh, we'll take the 63-63 body. That gives us a car rating of 67. That's pretty stout for the all-star race. Open. Let's go win the open and then go win a million bucks. Can you believe this shield house guy? doesn't even know the rules and that he doesn't have to race the Open since he won this season. What a dumbass. Anyways, the Open was pretty boring so out of respect to you and your time, most of it ended up on the cutting room floor. Enjoy whatever made the final cut and have a beautiful day, you absolute legends. Well, we are already in the All-Star race, so I guess I was right uh, that... I don't know. I thought it was last year's winners. Does winning the Open last year automatically put me in, or was it my win at Talladega this year that put me in? I don't know. I don't remember how it worked. But in any event, um, we got to make a four-tire green flag pit stop in segment one and finish in the top 20. And we got to finish in the top 14 in segment two. I don't think we've ever made it to the third segment. I think we fell out of segment two last year. So four-tire stop, finish in the top 20. We got a fast car. I think we're starting fifth is what it looks like. Okay, let's do it. Let's go win a million bucks. Now, let's take a look um, I don't know how qualifying was determined because we didn't qualify. Whatever. Here we go. Oh, yeah, starting fifth. Ten laps. Just got to make a four-tire stop. That uh, you know, shouldn't be an issue for us. Shouldn't. Y'all know how much I love making green flag pit stops. Although at Richmond, I made made a green flag pit stop without an issue. Oh my god! What a save! Oh, what a save! Oh, I thought we were dead. I thought we were dead. Oh my God! My my life flashed before my eyes right there. Holy shit! <laughs> well, it's halfway in the race. Probably the right time to come and pit. Right front just went red. This is probably the time to pit. So. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. Oh, God. The 22 cars all over your back bumper. We're falling back. Focus on your marks, buddy. All right. All right. Good enough. Good enough. Are we filling it? No, we're not filling. Okay. Here we go, boys. Good stop. We're not making any other adjustments. Just four tires and fuel. 14, 15, 16. Nice stop, boys. Nice stop. Cool. Good job, pit crew. And good job, me, for executing a green flag pit stop. <laughs> All right, on to stage two of the All-Star Race. 
A lemonade driver is David Green. Oh, you hate to see it. All right, back to it here. Seven laps. I think we have to finish in the top 14. We're taking it three on Ricky. No, we ran out of horsepower. Sad. Still there. Fuck. Heck. Well, shit. That didn't work. Got caught on Dale. That's my bad. Just got hung up with Dale Jarrett and around me. Oh, my God. Who? Was that Dale Jr.? Oh, it was Dale Jr. Roof first into the outside wall. Oh, my God. He got clipped by Dale Jarrett. Oh, oh brutal wreck. Tough scenes. I think we're good. Just make sure we don't get yeeted by anybody. And we're moving on to the final stage of the All-Star Race. It wasn't pretty, but we got there. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, this is it. This is for all the marbles. There's your eliminated drivers. We'll be seeing all of y'all. And now, take our beat-up cars for five laps for a million bucks. Fuck. Well, heck. Car not driving too good, y'all. <laughs> Jesus. We were we were catching people, but... All right, well, we'll pit. We're last. Let's pit. Let's take a big swing at it. One final hurrah in the All-Star Race. As the last lap. And, of course, it restarted me in third. Well, goodbye, everybody. Looks like Jeff Gordon's going to win the million bucks. And we're going to finish last. Sad. Here we come. To the line. 13th. Okay. We didn't finish last. Jeff Gordon wins the all-star race. Good for him. We literally didn't get anything for even making the all-star. <laughs> ah, that, that's, that's, that's nice. Well, that was a huge waste of time. So let's look at the point standings. Going into the Coke 600, Jeff Gordon is your points leader by two over Harvick. There's Dale Jarrett, Tony Stewart, Dale Jr., Ryan Newman, Matt Kenseth, Kurt Busch, Bobby Labonte, Rusty Wallace rounds out the top 10. Uh, we are 18th after our... Not so great finish at Richmond, but we're, we're, you know, one good race away from making a big jump back up. Got a little bit of a buffer to McMurray back in 20th, about 98 points, but we need a good run here at Charlotte, so let's put together a good race car. <laughs> maybe maybe it'll run a little bit better than we did at uh, the All-Star Race. Ooh-wee, this is a good race car right here. Worked on it a little bit from the things that I had... Uh, Learned from the all-star race things that I felt during the all-star race this uh, <laughs> This car is pretty quick. I Like it so far It's it's definitely better than the all-star race. That's for sure um, It just uh, it grips up better accelerates better I had a 29-2 in practice 29-2 See if we can match that here. We're already 22nd fast. The 29.5. I'm sure we got three more tenths in it, don't we? If I can nail this corner. I uh, kind of didn't, but kind of did, but kind of didn't. Let's see to the line. What's it going to be? We'll start towards the front. Woo, 29.1. P6. Let's go. We'll take it. We'll take it. Welcome everyone to Charlotte, North Carolina. It's time once again for the running of the Coca-Cola 600 here at Lowe's Motor Speedway. And EA Sports is here to bring you all the action. This should be a fantastic race as usual. A lot of these teams are based in this area and this is a 2,000 acre dream come true for any NASCAR fan. I don't think there's a bad seat anywhere in this place. And there's always great racing to go along with it.
Jimmy Johnson, who won a couple of championships in his early days as an off-road racer, came into the NASCAR Bush Series in 2000. He immediately showed a lot of consistency and picked up a full-time ride in the NASCAR Winston Cup Series in 2002, and he's been pretty impressive ever since. The 64 car has had a couple of incidents on the racetrack with Terry Labonte. A little bumping now and then is okay. They just need to make sure it doesn't get any more serious. Bobby Labonte has a solid top 10 spot in the standing so far. I had a chance to talk to him this morning, and he's looking forward to this race. He feels they have a very strong car that can pick up some more points this week. We'll keep an eye on him. All right, here we go from Charlotte for the Coke 600, the longest race of the year. We've uh, we've had some good runs in this race. We've had some heartbreaking finishes. We got a really good car, so as long as I don't do anything stupid and we don't get yeeted by an AI car, I think we'll be okay. 100 laps in my backyard of Charlotte. Let's go. Why is Kenny Wallace in front of us? <laughs> Get to the bottom here. Thanks, Matt. Nope, didn't stick the bottom. Tough scenes. Okie dokie. Let's try not to die going into three like we did in the all-star race. Ooh, made it work. Made it work. Made it work. Made it work. We're good. Lap one in the books. We survived. Yay. Draft. Yes. Clear. Ah, da, 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 da. <laughs> I wasn't clear. We're gonna live to talk about it. Sorry, Jeff. Oh, 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 this is stupid. Yeah. That was stupid. I knew it as soon as I did it, it was stupid. Patience, what is it? Couldn't tell you, I don't have any. 100 lap race and I'm going three wide in the front stretch, lap four. God, I'm stupid. Decided not to pit, figured probably safe bet, you know, not to pit, we're okay. <laughs> Give me a chance to cool down. We're P4, so that's good. We don't have to deal with Jeff anymore. Just gave me the spot. <laughs> oh, man. Listen, I'm going to tell you all right now. It's not easy being as dumb as I am. Honestly, it's hard work. It takes a lot of dedication, a lot of long, sleepless nights. Most of y'all couldn't handle it, so, you know, just learn from me. All right, Ricky, here we come. Here we come. Okay, we made it work. Got my attention. I was a little close. I know I'm faster than him. It's just so goddamn hard to pass him. Cashing him is one thing. Passing him is another. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we're a fifth of the way through this race, and we're halfway on fuel. It's a lot of fractions. Uh... Yeah, we're doing good. P3, I think we're just as fast as the cars in front of us. Not really pushing the car too hard. It's a little bit free right now. Um, if I don't quite get the corner entry right or, or hit the line right, it uh, it's a little on the loose side. But it does rotate, and it's fast. I just don't know if I want to leave it this way or make a, a small wedge adjustment to snug it up just a little bit I do believe this is going to be a two stop race for uh, everybody so that means we should be able to pit lap 33, lap 66 and go to the end we don't need to stretch it until we're out of fuel there's no need to might as well maximize the tire grip break it up into even runs and, and get, do the best we can with that Y'all know we fall off at the end of a tire run, so let's just avoid that fall off and not get there. Number eight is going on. Easy, easy. Okay, okay. Look at me getting a pit stop in. Look at that. Look how far we've come. 
Executing a green flag pit stop. That's incredible. Here we go, boys. Four tires and fuel. My little snot rockets. <laughs> Get a good stop in here. There's that wedge adjustment to help us out a little bit. If I don't like it on this run, I'll go back on it. It's just it was so twitchy. If I can just get rid of that twitchiness a little bit, we'll be good. 16 seconds stop, boys. Way to go. All right, this should be the last group of cars that's pitting, I believe. Let's see. That's Tony Stewart. Oh, we're going to get him. That's big. That's very big right there. Just leapfrog the leader of the race. Number 43, wow. Okie doke. That's pretty big right there. New leader. 64 car. Shit. Okay, we're back in second. Oh man. You're clear. Ah, I lost so much momentum behind the 45 and just completely blew my exit. Could have been a lot worse. I thought we were gonna get spun out by the wall, to be honest with you. Um, that definitely could have happened. So we'll we'll regroup. We'll be back in a sec. Don't worry. Fuck you, Kyle Petty. Asshole. Got what you deserve, man. Lead lap car's coming through. Stop blocking. Halfway through this race, and we're, we're running really well. Um, you know, aside from that one mistake that just handed the lead back to Tony Stewart. It's been, uh, been pretty good. Just got to deal with lap traffic a little bit better. I might go back on the adjustment that we made. It's definitely more snug, which is fine. I'm not as out of control, but I feel like I'm slower as a result. What the hell was that? Get, calm down, Casey. Goddamn. Um, I just feel like I'm slower overall. I know I'm burning up the right front tire more with this wedge adjustment, so I might go back on it for the final run because we're, we're not going to win this race at this point if I don't do anything. Well, we're going to be pitting here in a couple of laps. Ryan Newman is caught back up to me. We're losing time to Tony Stewart. And, um, you know, that's a combination of him having better tires than me, and I've made the car a little more snug, so it's a little slower. But, I mean, we can still pull a really good finish out of this race. Let's not lose sight of the fact that we're still second. Um... A yeah, win would be awesome, but shit. Top five would be huge. I think we can definitely pull that off. It's just going to come down to me executing this green flag pit stop, which is, I mean, we were on a good streak, but streaks were meant to be broken. Coming this time, Bobby. Hands out the window. Please don't do anything stupid, Bobby. I am pitting. There you go. Pass me around the outside. There we go. There we go. We've done it again. Incredible. Incredible stuff. Uh, yeah, four tires and fuel. Make the wedge adjustment to loosen it back up a little bit. Boys, money stop right here. Let's see it. Wedge adjustment. Clean so far. Oh. Ooh. What is that? Who the fuck is this asshole? Yep. I don't know. Who do you who do you blame that one on? 21 seconds. Fuck you, game. Okay. Well, fuck. Is this asshole? I don't want to talk about it, man. I thought I could sneak back up on the track. Clear. I was, just, I was, that's, fuck. Bad pit stop made me do stupid shit, and now we're fucked. Oh my god, I just, I can't believe that. But I can believe that. 
crew fucked me on that pit stop, and I felt like I needed to just dig hard to get some extra time. And just, uh, of course, get run over by someone. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It goes from bad to worse. <laughs> this is spiraling out of control quickly. Oh my god, dude. Go easy on the car. I'm trying. Unbelievable. And oh man. I just This game. It's brutal, dude. It's brutal. Now I know. Me driving up on track after the pit stop. Bad merge, that's on me. But damn, the pit crew fucking that pit stop really made me feel like I had to do something desperate. Well, this is a lot of cars in front of us. 31st with 25 laps to go or so. Ah, oh, man. Hopefully the car's not too compromised where we have decent speed still. Most of the damage is to the back, so I think we'll be okay. Just need to make up spots. Uh, so far, so good. We're we're passing people. I mean, car's still pretty quick, but I don't know where the end of the road is as far as lap down cars. And I think Johnny Benson is not a lap down, so beating Johnny Benson today now seems pretty much out of the question. Top 20 may be still possible. I know we can get a few more spots at least. But it looked like maybe 19 cars on the lead lap, 18 cars on the lead lap, something like that. Uh, we are running out of laps here. I lost track of Sterling. He got past me and trying to track him back down, but I don't think we're going to get there. This damage is just holding me back. Pretty badly at this point. Some pissed off drivers in front of us. I'm really not trying to mess with, so. Big picture. Top 20 is important for our primary sponsor. Got the qualifying bonus, so. It, it'll be two out of three. Which ain't bad, as they say. Man, it could have been a lot better, too. Uh, that's the white flag. One more lap to go. Disappointment, man. Disappointment, but. At the end of the day, nobody to blame but myself. You know, the pit crew cost me some time, but I think we still would have been okay in the big picture. I just made a stupid decision and really, uh, really cost us a lot. So that's my bad. Coke 600's a tough race, long race. We're going to finish it in 19th. Well, this was a top five car, and I just threw it away. Damn it. Oh, man. Tony Stewart won. Shocker. Yeah, not happy bunch of drivers here. Jeff's pissed. Mark's pissed. Didn't do a good job today. Sorry, boys. Tony Stewart dominated this race. Led 94 laps en route to victory over Bobby Labonte, Dale Jarrett, Rusty, Jeff, Ryan Newman, Kurt Busch, Jeff Burton, Mark Martin, Matt Kenseth. We had three cautions for nine laps. We end up uh, 19th after starting sixth, one lap down, led three laps. Should have been a top five, man. Damn it. Uh, money side, we got two out of the three bonuses. And eh, okay money day. But uh, not, not optimal, that's for sure. I got a sour taste in my mouth after that one. And, you know, I got no one to blame but myself. Y'all know that. You're going to tell me the same thing in the comment section. I know that. I just, uh, damn it, man. That could have been a top five. Easily could have been top five. But it wasn't. It was 19th, and the pit crew mistake, then my mistake, and it really just fell apart fast. That's that's how it goes in these games. Just a uh, mm, tough one. But we'll move on to Dover up next, a track that's tortured me extensively in the past. Hopefully we can uh, keep our wits about us and get a good run at the Monster Mile. If you're going to be in Martinsville this weekend, I'd love to see you. You'll have a great opportunity to do that. I'll be there all three days, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, for Trucks, Xfinity, and Cup. I'll be working the E-NASCAR Arcade in the Midway. Uh, come on down, hop up on stage, check out the simulators. We'll have iRacing on the simulators. So put down a lap at Martinsville, see if you can beat my time or some of the other pros that might be there. We'll have 
Uh, some drivers. I'm working hard to get some drivers, Cup, Xfinity, truck drivers to come up on stage and put down a lap and do some Q&As with the fans. So it should be a really fun weekend, but it's a great opportunity to meet up, and I'd love to see you there. So, if, again, if you're in Martinsville, stop by the eNASCAR stage either uh, or any of the three days, and I will be there waiting to meet you. Uh, other than that, hope you enjoyed today's episode, even though it was kind of a letdown. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up on the video. It helps me. It helps these videos. It helps the channel just so much when you do that. That is a great form of support. If you're new around here, if you haven't yet subscribed and you see that red subscribe button under the video, I hope today's the day that I've earned a subscription from you. We've been growing like crazy, and it's all because of you and your support. So thank you for that. And uh, shout out to all the YouTube members out there. Thanks for all your support there. Y'all are the best, man. I appreciate it. I'm having fun. I look forward to having fun this weekend in Martinsville. We'll hit you with a couple more episodes to round out the week. Up next, we'll do Dover. Thanks for watching this one. We'll see you in the next one from the Monster Mile.